my god, we're getting a camera backstage now. John Moxley and Seth Rollins, these two have been trying to fight it out backstage, but thankfully we've had some of the superstars of management out here to keep these two apart, but they will not get off of each other. And uh oh, Roman Reigns, the BB World Champion, is getting in the middle of this now. And Seth Rollins and John Moxley will not get off of each other. These two going at oh no, Reigns getting in the mix now. And now, more superstars coming out here to try and break this brawl up. My goodness, and Damien cannot believe his eyes. These three will not get off of each other. Listen up, the three of you. You want to fight? Save it for the pay-per-view. At double or nothing, it will be Seth Rollins versus Roman Reigns versus John Moxley in a triple threat match for the BBE World Championship. My God, a triple threat at double or nothing for the BBE World Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to BBE Rampage episode 10. Kicking things off tonight, Shane McMahon is in the ring. Welcome everyone to Rampage. And to open tonight's one hell of amazing show, we are kicking things off as I and Dominic will reveal the newest recruits to Shane Enterprises. And introducing first, he is a well-known, familiar face in this company, Dolph Ziggler! Dolph Ziggler has joined McMahon Enterprises! And now, here is Austin Theory! Welcome, Dolph Ziggler and Austin Theory to McMahon Enterprises. And now, ladies and gentlemen, impromptu six-man tag match made here. Kings of Wrestling and the McMahon Enterprises. Cesaro with the European uppercut to Ziggler. Tag to Theory. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh. Cesaro turning things around with the European uppercut once again. And now here comes Dijakovic with a big boot. And now, going to turn Cesaro around. Ducks the clothesline. Oh, was looking for that springboard European uppercut. And now here goes Ricochet. Caught on the shoulders of Theory. Dolph now. Oh, huge DT to cash a Sono. And now Dijakovic looking to hit the feast. Your eyes says, oh my god, Theory. It's the A-Town down. And Ziggler's got a hold of Ono. And it looks like that's it for Kings of Wrestling. Huge win for the newly formed faction of McMahon Enterprises, but once again, a tough loss for Cassius, Ricochet, and Cesaro. Cesaro does not seem too happy about this loss. Wait a second, who, who, is that Sheamus? He's got a mask on for, for when Ricochet, oh my god, when Ricochet broke his nose. What a bro kick. My god, and now what the hell? Cesaro, what are you doing? And now, oh my god. Dear God, Sheamus and Cesaro, what, what just happened? Cassius and Ricochet, are they okay? What just happened? Sheamus is back. And our next match, ladies and gentlemen, Ilya Dragunov from the United Empire with Neville and Buddy Murphy going up against the next generation champion, Ryan Cage. Brian Cage defeated Neville for this title and now Ilya has sided with him and these two are going at it. Ilya dragging on out with a shot to the chest of Brian Cage. Brian Cage took the title off of Neville back in June at BBE Bash at the Beach staring into the eyes of the bastard. Neville Returning a month ago, forming a new faction, the United Empire with Ilya Dragunov and longtime friend Buddy Murphy. And now, wait a second, Ilya Dragunov. Oh, 
Oh, gets caught with a super kick to the jaw. Brian Cage now looking for a German suplex. Ilya Dragunov lands it on his feet. Ilya Dragunov, BBE debut here, getting a next-gen title shot. Gonna pick up Brian Cage, and oh, huge Braid Buster suplex. And now, I need a gut and a double axe handle to the back. Ilya Dragunov looking for all those weak points of Brian Cage, but it looks like he has none. Package suplex, and now, oh, huge jumping kick right to the face and now oh a german suplex from Ilya lands it on brian cage on the back of his neck and cage trying to get out of it with elbows and Ilya reverses oh my god half and half suplex and now gonna pick up brian cage once again just tossing him on the back of his neck too and now a kick out from brian cage and dragon off cannot believe it looking to the outside as neville and buddy murphy are watching this matchup very closely oh my god he was sent on off the top cover one Two, and now a kick out from Brian Cage. Now Ilya Dragunov going back up top. Could be looking for another sent but no, wait a second. Oh my God. Coast to coast from Ilya Dragunov. This man can and will do anything as Neville is barking orders. Neville probably knows Brian Cage the best out of everybody. As Ilya hits him to the outside with a knee. Now oh, suicide down. Cage moves out of the way. Sent him right into the stage. Like I said before, Neville knows him the most out of anybody, so he's going to tell and instruct Ilya Dragunov on what to do to defeat this man here tonight. And now Ilya Dragunov with a kip up, and oh my god! Cage was distracted by Neville there for a second. And now Neville still once again barking orders to Ilya Dragunov. I'm not sure if Ilya is taking too lightly to this, but no. Going right back after Brian Cage here. Going to toss him back inside the ring. Cage trying to bring himself into his feet as Ilya goes back inside the ring. Oh, gets hold of the German suplex, lands on his feet and a double foot stomp to the rib cage of Brian Cage. And now he's going to turn him over. Ilya rolling through in the shades of Velveteen Dream. And now, oh my God, Death Valley Driver into the corner. And is, it, is he going to go? Well, he's going for Ilya looking for that torpedo Moscow head. But no way to say it, Brian Cage reverses it. Brian Cage, oh, X-Factor, reverses it with the X-Factor, cover one, two, three, no, and Ilya dragging off, that was so close, Murphy and Neville looked worried for a moment, Ilya kicking out of the X-Factor, that was too close for comfort, as Brian Cage has it back up, oh my god, went for a clothesline, Ilya reverses it, and now, oh, he's got Brian Cage up for a powerbomb, Brian Cage reverses it, now he's got a drill claw, that's it, one, two, no, what the hell? Neville and Buddy Murphy ending this match up here. What the hell? Wait, who the hell? Oh my god, what? It's Camera Grimes! Camera Grimes is here off to the moon! Oh my god, the came in from Camera Grimes! Take it out, Neville! And now gonna throw Alien Dragon off out! And watch out, Brian Cage has Buddy Murphy up! He's going to take him out. Throw him. Oh, my God. Out to the United Empire. Cameron Grimes is here in BBE. And, oh, Cameron now. He wants a shot at Brian Cage for the next generation championship. Our next matchup here is a tag team number one contenders match between Alpha Academy Otis and Chad Gable going up against the Usos. Ladies and gentlemen, this is kind of like a rematch here, a WrestleMania rematch that is. And now Jay Uso, oh my god, just try to clothesline Otis and it does nothing. Otis replacing Jason Jordan here in this WrestleMania rematch with the new Alpha Academy. And now Jay gets caught with a press, a power slam by Otis. And now, oh, went for a super kick, caught the foot. And now Jay turns into a Inzagiri kick. And now they get right back up to his feet. A right hand to Otis, and it does nothing. Goes off the ropes. And now, oh, wait a second, Otis caught him and throws him in the corner. Chad Gable and Jason Jordan beat the Usos for the BDE Tag Team Championships at WrestleMania. And now, wait a second, watch out for Jimmy. No, 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 oh my god. Just pushes Chad Gable onto the announcer's table. And now, wait a second, oh, Jay Uso gets out of that. Throws Otis into the corner here. Where's he going for? Jimmy is back. And now, oh, double clothesline. Oh my god, Chad Gable's still out on the outside. 
the Usos getting taken down here. Now, oh, super kick. And now, gonna throw. Oh, and it's to the outside, my God. Now, wait a second. Here comes Chad Gable. Ducks the close up. It gets caught with one by Jimmy on the ring apron. And now, Jimmy gonna pick up Gable, dragging him back inside the ring. Uh, watch out, Otis. Jey Uso gonna fly, but no caught. And now, slams him on the steel stuff, my God. And now, wait a second. Chad Gable, 30 gets around overhead. Belly to belly suplex to Jimmy Uso. And now, gonna get back up with Zoom for, oh, kick to the midsection of Jimmy. He's got him up for a power bomb, and he hits it in the ring. And now, Otis with a splash. Oh, wait a second. Gable gonna fly. Take it out, Jey Uso. Go for the cover now. Otis, two, three. No, Jimmy kicks out. Oh my god, that was a close one earlier. And now Otis gonna pick up Jimmy. Uh oh, he's going to the second row. Oh, Jay straight to the barricade. Oh, off the second row. Cover get one, two, and now no, a kick out for Jimmy Uso. Watch out for Chad Gable, who's back up on the ring apron. He's up on the top. Oh no, super blockbuster, my god. What a blockbuster. And now Chad Gable, cover one, two, and oh no, Jay. Coming in just in time to break things up. And now Super Kid right to the jaw. I'm going to throw Chad Gable to the outside. And now Jay Uso. What is he going for here? Oh, a super kick to the jaw. And now, uh-oh. Wait a second. What is done? And it is done. Oh, suicide dive to the outside. And the Usos defeat the Alpha Academy. Are going to face MSK at double or nothing. What makes a house strong? Is it the foundation, the bricks, the mortar? Well, perhaps. But the people that reside within it are the bricks, the mortar, the foundation. But even that foundation needs ideals. Ideals such as understanding that human nature is violent. And therefore, I will not question the teachings that the house bestows upon me. But I will appreciate its blessing, no matter how destructive understand that this can only be done by placing the house before everything and everyone else and also understand that not everyone will grasp the concept of the teachings you bestow upon others that through agony the house will make them strong the house is bigger than you the house is bigger than them but lastly the house always wins it is main event time here on BBE Rampage. Adam Cole going to face a longtime rival now, John Moxley. These two have had built up frustrations for each other for a very long time. And now here we go. Adam Cole and John Moxley going at it. Center of the ring, a right hand from Moxley and one another to the back of the head. And now taking Adam Cole to the corner, stomping in at the midsection, the ribs of Adam Cole. And now, oh, a knee to the gut and a clothesline setting Adam Cole to the outside of the ring already. And Moxley, he's fired up. He wants to take out all his frustrations on Adam Cole. After what happened to Halloween, having a suicide dive to Adam Cole. Multiple right hands going after Cole. And now going to throw him into the barricade. And now, uh-oh, Adam Cole gets out of it. Shoves Moxley into the steps. Undisputed Era and the Blackpool Combat Club. have had an ongoing rivalry for a long time now as he gets a super kick to the jaw of John Moxley and a right hand to the side of the head. Now we're for a clothesline. Oh, jumping into Gary Kick to the back of the head of Moxley and now going to throw him back inside the ring. Adam Cole on the ring apron now. And now Moxley, wait a second, he's got a suplex position. Brain buzzer inside the ring. Cover one, two, and now a kick out from Cole. Moxley now going after Adam Cole once again in the corner. And now, oh, a kick to the midsection for Cole. Wait a second, he's looking for a Panama Sunrise early. Moxley caught him. Adam Cole trying to kick out of it here. Wait a second, what's he going for? Oh, Sunset Flip rolling through here. Moxley rolls through with a drop kick right to the face of Adam Cole. Moxley going to bring himself back up to see a stop to the back. The spine of Adam Cole. And now Moxley wasting no time. Going to pick him up. And now, oh wait, Adam Cole lands on his feet, shoves Moxley to the corner, backstabber. My God, and now Adam Cole, wait a second, he's got him set up. He could be going for the last shot, and now wait a second, no. 
Moxley ducks it, and now rolling Adam Cole through. Oh, wait a second, looking for a Paradox Shift, but no, Adam Cole reverses with a bridge suplex. My God, and now picking Moxley back up. He's got him up. Oh, we're looking for the Hiroshi. Hiroshi. Moxley gets out of Oh, punt kick. Sending Moxley to the outside. My God, and now, oh my God, are you kidding me? The Undisputed Era, Kyle O'Reilly, Bobby Fish, and I'm going just parking orders now, but Moxley isn't going down without a fight. But no, the Undisputed Oh, wait a second. Here comes Brian Danielson. And now, wait a second. Oh, ducks the clothes off for Adam Cole. Suicide die taking out Bobby and Kyle. The Cavalry has arrived. And oh, whoa, what the hell? Here comes Ryan Strong. No, no. The Blackpool Combat Club are outnumbered. Wait a second. Oh, the He's back! Look on top of the ring! Oh my gosh, that masked man! Cross body and Adam Cole! Who is this masked man that has been saving the Blackpool Combat Club as of late? And I always moved so from the top, my god! Take it out, everybody! Who is this masked man? Right handed kick to the midsection of Bobby Fish. Uh oh. Jumping knee strike and a super kick to Roger Strong. Now drop kick to Fish. Adam Cole can't believe it. Now wait a second, here's Moxley back in the ring. Moxley now because of the distraction paradigm shift. One, two, three. Moxley does it. And wait a second, the masked man is gone. John Moxley wins in our main event of Rampage.